Namashivai students. Today we will learn chapter number 8, Bloom and Groom. In this chapter we will discuss about plants and its different parts with their function. We see plants all around us. The body of a plant is divided into two parts, the shoot system and the root system. The part of the plant that grows above the soil is called the shoot system. It includes stem, flower, leaf, fruit. And the part of the plant that grow below the soil form the root system. It holds the plant strongly to the ground and prevent it from falling over. Roots also provide water and minerals from soil to the plant. Roots are of two types. One is taproot and another one is fibrous root. A taproot has a thick center and grows down straight. It does not have branch roots. Small hair-like roots grow from the sides of a tap root. Most tall trees have an extremely well-developed tap root system. Trees like mango, neem, carrot, pea, radish, people have a tap root system. Next we will discuss about fibrous root. A fibrous root consists of many small roots which branch out from the base of the stem. It does not go very deep into the soil but branch out sideways in all directions which prevents soil erosion. Grass, wheat, rice, Plant herbs have fibrous root. Now we will discuss about the functions of root. The first one is fixation and support. The main function of the root is to anchor the plant to the soil and provide solid support to the tree. Next is absorption. Roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil. This is used by the plants to make food by the process of photosynthesis. Next function is storage. In some plants, the extra food is stored in the roots. We eat some of these roots. They are also known as root vegetables or edible roots. In time of famine, these roots are eaten as food. Carrots, turnip, potatoes, yams, tapioca are examples of plants that have food storage roots. These roots are enriched with carbohydrates which give us energy. The next point is prevent erosion. Heavy rain and a strong wind wash or blow away the top soil. This is called soil erosion. Roots bind the soil and prevent these soil erosion. Now the next function is respiration. Plants in marshy and waterlogged areas grow roots above the soil to reach the air that they need to survive. These roots help the plant in respiration. So we have seen that apart from fixing the plant with the soil, root also play a very important role in the growth of the plant too. So as per the function of the root is concerned, beside the two basic types of root, thus there are few special roots also. Now, the first one in case of spatial root is the aerial roots. The aerial roots fix
fix themselves to the ground and support the heavy branch of the tree. It also helps the plant in taking moisture and also in breeding like banyan tree and orchid. Next one is storage roots. We have seen that there are certain roots which are called storage roots which store food in the form of starch. During shortage of food or natural disaster like drought or famine, people use to eat these roots like this. There are roots of some plants also which store water making it easier for plant to survive long and in dry summer months like that of pumpkin and gourd. Now the next special root is the propagative root. This one. Some plants are there who have birds close to the surface of the ground. These birds can grow into new independent plants as in the case of cherry and strawberry plants. As these plants propagate with the help of the roots, their roots are called propagative roots. Next is the breeding roots. We all know that plants in marshy and waterlogged areas have roots above the soil to breathe. These roots are called breeding roots. They are spongy. Mangrove are examples of breeding roots. The next one is Brutus roots. Some trees have large roots growing on all sides. Such roots prevent the trees from falling and help them to derive more nutrients from the surface level. These roots are called Brutus roots which are mostly found in tropical rainforest. Example Fickers, that is fig trees, is an example of it. Thus, we must take care of the roots and leave at least two feet of uncovered ground around the trees so that water and air can reach the roots. But constant work in concrete construction in towns and cities nowadays left unpaved to allow trees to grow and for that the roots are unable to spread deep and wide into the ground and thus trees fall down easily when there is a strong storm blows. So what we have to do? We have to keep these roots active and let them go grow at their own space. So students, please go through this portion that is roots, different types of roots and functions of root in your book. In the next class when we will meet soon, we will discuss about another part of the plant that is flower. Till then, Namashivai.